Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about Applied Digital Corp, APLD. This company has is, is, uh, made a lot of news here in the last couple of days. And as you know it, as the company that is focused on designing, building, operating next generation HPC, that's high performance computing data centers, otherwise known as AI data centers. Uh, they signed a significant uh, deal with Hyperscaler CoreWeave. And this is a game changer for the company and it caused a significant uh, rise in the stock price. This could have been had uh, for just three to four dollars a share back in the tariff lows of April. And now in the early days of June 2025, uh, this stock has exploded. But there's still time to analyze it and determine what we're going to do with it. Because analyst stock uh, price uh, expectations are starting to get ramped up, but it's still sitting low enough. Well, we'll take a, take a closer look at that in the fundamentals very soon. So this core weave deal, 15-year uh, deal, a couple of leases, $7 billion over the, over the term of, of uh, these leases. It's considerable cash flow for a company that uh, just brought in $52 million in the last quarter. So this will be a significant increase once this starts to hit. And this should start to hit maybe late 2025 or the first half of 2026. But the deal signed and Applied Digital has been talking about signing a hyperscaler from many, many, many quarters. And some of us were wondering, is this going to come or when is this gonna come? And who's this going to be? Well, it turns out CoreWave is the first one. There's still room to sign more. And they've dropping, Applied Digital is dropping some hints that there could be more to come, uh, but this is pretty significant. So other events, uh, to talk about, they have pretty solid financial uh, statements, balance sheet. They've got a convertible preferred that they just put out there. This solidifies the balance sheet. They've got uh, deals with, of course, Macquarie Capital to build out these HPC or AI data centers. Uh, Macquarie has committed up to $5 billion in financing to help build these, these out. They also have, a, uh, have fresh capital from Mitsui uh, Banking in Japan to provide liquidity and, and more build out. And of course, NVIDIA has contributed uh, in, in 2024, uh, buying shares in, in the company and it's, that's supplying financing to apply digital. NVIDIA continues to be a 3% holder in the company. Also earnings came out in um, mid April. Hey, 22% growth is nothing to sneeze at on the top line. Of course, this is a build out company. So there's a tremendous amount of money going into building out these data centers and, and growing that piece of the business before you capitalize on the profitability. So not yet profitable, but still lots of money coming in. Let's take a quick look at the fundamentals and see how that lines up. So as we talk about fundamentals for Applied Digital Corp, uh, this is a company with market cap of pro approximately $2.3 billion, trading a little bit over $10 a share with a range of between $3 a share in $12.50 a share just in the past year. And again, you could have had this in April for three to $4 a share if we had been uh, savvy enough to pick up on that. Uh, year to date up about 32% over the past year, up 153% and in five years up 114%. Uh, this company, which was being, had a lot of doubt cast on it is suddenly uh, with the signing of CoreWave is suddenly hitting its stride with a lot of people starting to wonder how big of a position should I take in Applied Digital. Uh, revenue is expected to go through the roof in the, in the coming quarters and years to come as this uh, core weave deal it starts to take shape and there could be more in the works. As we know, they have a very aggressive build out schedule and Applied Digital is building their data centers, the HPC AI data centers in areas where they're very close to the uh, the power sources, such as in North Dakota and the Ellendale data center. Uh, so there's a never ending supply of, of power for this data center, and they're gonna grow, grow this location and many others just like it. Remember, insiders also own about 16% of, of the company with the CEO on board as being a 10% owner, quite impressive. Of course, to seal the deal, they had to uh, sell their cloud business as this was seen as a competitor to some of the hyperscalers. Uh, but now that that's, all these transactions are starting to take place, uh, things are really starting to move. So 
there's actually whispers of this company going from a $2 billion market cap company to upwards of $20 billion and perhaps a conversion into a REIT to unlock value and focusing uh, focus on the build out and running of the facilities and then renting out that space to hyperscalers and, and the like. That's, analysts are already starting to up their price targets, you know, from that 10 to $12 range. I've seen some as high as $17, $18, and I think we can see more. Let the good news keep, keep rolling. Got a sizable position in this company already, but I'm not holding still. I continue to require uh, more Applied Digital, and I'm looking for big things from Applied Digital. I think this could be really something in the years to come.